Hey, it's Jung. I have another movement of the day post for you. So today's mod is going to be another pairing uh, with an everyday activity and a drill. So we're already doing our everyday activity twice a day if you're following guidelines, which is brushing your teeth. And the drills are going to be some balance awareness um, progressive drills. So nothing crazy like standing on an uneven surface and jumping around or anything like that. But because they are progressions, I will uh, have them written down for you in the description. Now, what I mean by balance is not just our, um, you know, everyday amazing ability to just walk and stand and jump and run, go up the stairs without falling over all the while we're carrying stuff and talking and turning and moving and, and uh, switching surfaces and in different shoes. So all that is amazing in and of itself. But um, if we work on our balance, we're also going to work on our mind-body connection because even though balance comes mostly from all of the small muscles and joints in our feet and the stabilizer muscles in our hips, it's called the deep six. So even though the glute muscles are important in everything, um, it's these smaller stabilizer muscles through the on the underneath uh, around your hip joints that have um, the starring role in our balance. Um, and then the rest is cerebral. So let's get to it. So the first thing I'm gonna have you run through is a really quick self-assessment just to rule out anything you know, blatant going on with your center of gravity and your hips. So the first thing to do is to just um, check yourself in front of a mirror and to stand neutral, so tall, so not, you know, forcing or, or locking anything, but just stand neutral and then simply lift one leg up. And what we're looking for here is to make sure that as we lift one leg, we're not shifting the hip from um, being even. So that's a hip shift that's very pronounced and that means you have some weakness in your glute medius to work on. But as long as you're relatively level as you bring one foot up and the other, then you're good to go. So the very first thing is really simple. We're simply going to stand and close our eyes and make sure that as we close our eyes we're not wobbling at that point. But as we stand, we want to think about our feet and do so with all of the drills um, coming up. So when we stand on our feet, instead of having our weight on our heels, which is how we're often cued to do for exercises like squats, we say put the weight in your heels, we want to have full contact with the floor with all of your foot. So if you actually stand and kind of lean forward a little bit and get a feel for your weight shifting to um, basically all the middle tarsals of your foot. Just think about the entire foot having full contact with the floor. Then once you get a feel for that, then you could stand in neutral and we'll start from here. Okay, so as you stand, the very first drill is simply going to cut, is going to be um, putting one foot in front of the other so the heel of the front foot is touching the toes of the back foot and we're going to try to hold that for 15 to 30 seconds on each side and again we're not trying to squeeze so hard through the glutes in order to hold this we want to have a fairly neutral stance and what we're looking for is to see how quickly uh, well we're looking to make sure we're not falling over, but then we're trying to make sure, um, get a feel for how fast we're fatiguing through all of those smaller muscles underneath your glutes, okay? So if you do that for 15, 30 seconds on each side, the next progression is to do the same thing, but close your eyes. So um, one of the tips about closing your eyes is that if you, um, Take a note of whatever you're gazing at that's directly in in front of you. Make a note of that. Make Take a mental picture and then close your eyes and just hold that picture. Okay, that'll be a little mind trick. Um, so if you're able to do, hold this position with your eyes closed and you're brushing your teeth, you know, for 30 seconds without falling over, then the next progression
progression is to do it with your eyes open with one foot up. Okay, so 15 to 30 seconds on each side doing that. And then the final progression would be to do the one foot up with your eyes closed. Again, 15 to 30 seconds. So one of the benefits of doing this when you um, are brushing your teeth, of course you could do this at any point, like washing your dishes, standing in line someplace, but if you're using a, a Sonicare toothbrush or Quip toothbrush or any of the electronic toothbrushes where there's a automatic timer that goes off every 30 seconds to count down to a two minute, brushing experience, um, then you could use that as a cue to you know, switch size, switch feet. So if you progress all the way up to being able to hold these for 30 seconds, then um, you're ready to say your balance is pretty good and then we can move on to other exercises that um, introduce and incorporate more wobble factor for you to fight against. So give this a try and uh, let me know how it goes. This is Jung signing off, reminding you to start where you are, do what you can, use what you have and move something.